Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at 3CX and setting up a bridge connection with uh, Fusion PBX. Now, Fusion PBX uh, has the same free switch engine as other phone systems like CUDATEL. So if you're using free switch CUDATEL Fusion PBX, uh, you can use this to connect your, uh, your Fusion PBX free switch system with 3CX and then share calls between them, route calls between them without going to, uh, through the internet and, uh, and making sure things are secure. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I did to make this work. Okay, so here we are in 3CX version 15 service pack 5, and you're going to want to add a bridge. We're going to have a look at my settings here. This is my bridge that I currently have configured. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to add a master. So this is a master on 3CX. And then let's have a look at these settings. So the name of the bridge is, uh, this is for your reference purposes only. The virtual extension number, use the default. In this case, it came up as 1006. And uh, once that's uh, been created, you can't change that. Uh, the outbound rule is just for uh, the outbound rule in 3CX sending calls over this trunk. So it's in terms of registrations, it's not important. Uh, maximum simultaneous calls as well. Uh, you need to make sure that your Fusion PBX or CUDATEL uh, has uh, whatever maximum number is set there. They should be the same in, in both places. And then we've got the password. So if we click on this I here, it will expose the password. And that's what we use uh, in the Fusion PBX, Free Switch, CUDATEL setup. Now, uh, remote PDBBX, we don't have to worry about this because that's a 3CX to 3CX spread. The other two pages, this information also is not uh, necessary. So uh, let's have a look at what shows up in Fusion PBX. So I've gone down here from accounts to gateways and uh, I've got two gateways. You can see this first one here is the one to my 3CX. That's my internal 3CX IP address. So I'm gonna select that. And uh, the gateway name, uh, that's again for reference purposes only. You'll notice the 1006 here as the username. And now we got that uh, from 3CX. So we want to remember that. The password also, there's my uh, password. I'm going to have to change that uh, uh, now. Uh, but we also have the username here, 1006. And that is the username uh, that same is up here. So the front name needs to be the same. The proxy, we're going to use the uh, IP address for the 3CX server. Uh, and it should work even across the internet, but uh, you know, it's best uh, if both these systems are on the same network. Now, there's a few other things that we need that uh, I had to put in here to make this work. Uh, one is the auth username, so 1006 again. And then the last item is extension and contact. I need to have this is true uh, for the trunk to register. Uh, everything else is uh, pretty standard and basic. And then once you've uh, saved this, uh, then the trunk is going to register and you'll be able to route calls back and forth uh, between the two systems. I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Please check out our, our YouTube channel at www.helia, uh, sorry, <laughs> www.youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Uh, also, if you're looking for 3CX, check out our online store at www.buy phonesonline.ca. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. Bye for now. Thank you.